Game here, coming at you with another episode from TrueYourRelationships.com, off of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. You know, when I was growing up, my dad used to repeatedly say that you got to get your money right. I mean, this was like a an anthem in my household. He used to consistently say, say that over and over and over again. And he said this all the way until he passed away. Rest in peace to him. And I really didn't get it. I didn't really understand where he was coming from until I, I was in my late 20s. And that's when it really hit me. And there's three things that he told me that I would have to master damn there. If I really wanted to live a, the life that I wanted. And he said, the first thing you have to do is you have to educate yourself. And he said, it doesn't really matter what, what profession or career or what act, activities or what side hustle you decide to get involved in, whatever job it is. He said, you have to educate yourself. You have to understand the game that you're going, going to get involved in. So he said education is very important. And the second thing, he said you got to learn how to sell. He said you, you have to learn how to promote you, promote yourself, promote what you got. You have to even be able to sell yourself to even get a job. It's, it's very important to learn how to do that. And at the time, when I was younger, I didn't understand that. And I didn't know how to do that, you know. And then the last thing he said, he said, you got to get involved in the real estate. He said, you, you got to invest into maybe a company or invest into some people you know. And he said, he went on to say that the best investment you can make is in yourself because it's priceless in the long term and he said um then he started telling me about how it was when he was growing up because he grew up in the the 30s 40s 50s and the 60s and during that time it was a very different environment and you know they pretty much had to bootstrap everything you know the they weren't no they didn't have access to mortgages back then they had so what they had to do what they did back then most people including my 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 father they had to make a deal to get land a lot of people did that what they did is they made a deal by becoming a farmer in exchange to get the land and that they had the uh whatever they planted they had to distribute the corn or or cotton or or whatever they tobacco or whatever whatever they had to harvest they had to take that to the same place in the area local area basically and they didn't get very much profit wasn't much profit but they that was the sacrifice that they made in exchange for the land and when they got the land what they did is started building on the land they started building houses for everybody so you might have a sister a brother an aunt that that live up north so you might have an aunt that live up north and she'll come down and put money into the house and and, and that's how they did it back in the day they, they, no one really paid a a firm or or went to the banks to get their house built back in the day when my father grew up at least not in our family anyway this is what he was telling me this is what my my, my grandparents and my parent my great-grandparents and my parents were telling me so they basically had to bootstrap everything you know so you know you know I, I talk about the game I talk about dating and talk about relationships a lot. 
but there's an aspect um that you, that I can't forget about and that's making that money because when you're out here moving and shaking shaking and baking you know you're going to have to have some money out here gonna, and depending on where you live at if you live in a big city it's going to require a, uh, probably a lot of money to maintain uh, a, a decent lifestyle however if you live in a smaller town it, it's not going to require that much you know, not not at all not compared to living in a big city but it's still good to have cash and when i say cash i mean more than one income you know I, i'm talking at least three six seven incomes at least you know and when i was younger i met my first millionaire when i was 13 years old and i asked him how he how how did he build his empire and he said he 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 built it because he had more than one income at the time at the time he had six incomes he owned like uh a couple of uh water parks in Myrtle Beach South Carolina and he owned uh, a few of them in Wilmington North Carolina and then he owned a, another water park in Orlando Florida and then he owned a cup uh, a couple of apartment uh, complexes at the time so he said he had six incomes and he said now and he then he went on to say that he didn't start from scratch he said everything was passed down to him from his father right he said the only thing he had to do is just maintain by the business by putting people in the right positions to thrive and to prosper basically that's the, that's what he told me and i thought what he was doing at the time was kind of fascinating you know just because i didn't it wasn't anybody else around that was like that at my age i'm 13 years old and then i was around this guy for like uh eight years because my mom was uh, a bookkeeper for him and my mom basically didn't do shit she basically got paid for nothing really because it wasn't much work much paperwork that needed to be done because every time i went oh went to every time my mom went to meet him i was always there and it wasn't anything going on you know we would meet at some place like hardy's or uh, some coffee shop at, at the time you know so it wasn't and then we met up met up at his house a couple of times as well and we always got access to free tickets every month at in all the locations where he owned his water park and that's when i you know when i got older that's when i figured out you know it hit me that money really matters out here it really does make a difference because if your money ain't right you can't even escape the chaos you're gonna find yourself doing some shit that you know you shouldn't be doing but you gotta do it anyway because you don't have no other options and this is why i started my other channel my other youtube channel called day job bailout plan where i talk about how i got started all my trials and tribulations and all the bs because you know before i got started i, I really got tired of not having enough i got tired of going to 
places and picking up stuff and looking at the price and you know I gotta put it down because I can't pay the price you know I got tired of not being able to take trips or vacation or spend time with my family during the holidays because I just can't make it because I don't get the cash right, and I got I got tired of working jobs that 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 I wasn't a, being appreciated on, on the job I was basically being tolerated so I know you can relate to this because there's a lot of people that work jobs and it's very stressful working a lot of these jobs a lot of people are very you know they're being mistreated at record-breaking numbers and, you know and and what happened what happened to me is when I started my side hustle when I started having more than one income coming in back what this is like early it's like 2002 when I started when I got into direct sales when I had more than one income coming in and when I went to work it it felt like you know my attitude was like I don't have to be here you know I, I you know I can be somewhere else if if if, if you want me to be you know so it, it, you I, I kind of took on a whole new persona you know the weight was off my shoulders I wasn't stressed anymore because I, I kind of felt like uh, relieved of you know the bullshit that they were doing it didn't bother me anymore because I knew I had more than one income and if I lost my job I got laid off I got fired I, I'm I, I'm I, I would have survived I would have been good to go you know I wouldn't have you know got evicted or starved or any of that you know and somebody back then reached out to me and showed me the way they showed me the skills and the strategies that it really takes to become a mover and a shake out here because my father told me that you know you have to be resourceful and it's good to have your money right but he said you can't be broke and not resourceful you, you gotta have at least one you know he said if you're broke and you don't have you and if, if and if you're not a very resourceful person that's a double whammy so someone reached out to me back then and i mean this goes way back when i was a kid and even back in the early 2002 when uh i got when i got on the internet so now i'm paying it forward you know because i never actually taught a uh, large group of people in my life as far as what it takes to really make it online and offline and how to start side hustles I never actually I talk to people about it and you know small just like individuals or, or small groups but I never taught it from uh, you know I never taught massive amounts of people you know how to go about doing it so that's why I started the uh, the channel called day job bailout plan and go over there and subscribe I'm, I'm gonna put the link below and you know you just gotta get your money right out here you you can have you know as, as many women as you want you can you know you can travel as much as you want you can you can you know it's all good doing all that stuff but if your money not right you you still gonna you still kind of got one hand tied behind your back so to speak so you don't have to be broke out here man not today not i mean today is pretty wide open but at the same time it's it's a lot of chaos out here it's a lot of snakes a lot of fakes a lot of phonies a lot of frauds so you know people out here they don't know who to trust and and i understand it and for good reason so like i said i'm gonna click the link below subscribe to my other channel the day job bailout plan 
And I'm going to be talking over there. I'm going to be talking about, you know, mindset strategy and, you know, what it really takes and how to get set up correctly. You know, because when I got started, I made a lot of mistakes, a lot of stuff I just didn't know, you know. So, hey, but just like I said, if you want to earn extra money, if you want to, you know, get your money right, subscribe to my other channel. And if you have any questions, leave your comments below. So if you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel, check out my blog, chooseyourrelationships.com. Join my players club. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.